everyone, it's Little Miss Angels here, and I just messed up my beginning part. Okay, I'm not going to set that over, but hi y'all, it's Little Miss Angels, and today we'll be playing Digital, a love story. Okay, which it really is the same day I just recorded the other part, but I am really bored. No one's home, so, well, they'll be home soon. They're just over, like, in 30 minutes away, but... I'm going to record a little more because I'm kind of bored. Plus, I kind of figured it out. Thanks to da -da 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 the YouTuber, the subscriber, the person who told me to play this game, Bringer of Apples! I'll put his name in the dis his link in the description and his name in the um, video title. <sighs> He's been a big help with this game, if anything. We've been talking all day. He's a really nice kid. Miller, nice guy. We're but the same age, I guess. Kid guy. I call everyone a kid because it doesn't matter. I may be 15, but I still call everybody a kid. And sorry, I'm kind of texting a bit. My um, my friend Hannah and I are trying to figure out what we want to do with our locker to customize it this year. Since we weren't locker partners last year, it was kind of me and my other friends. So, hold up, pause. Okay, I'm back for right now until that. But okay, since bringer of apples help me um... and I'll do that okay so he said there was a message he told me what to do but I'm still gonna show you guys even if you got whatever and that's really loud that's the motor what is the sorcery? turn it down Oh yeah, plus this is turned up a bit. Okay. Um. Let's see. Remember that little video about the hacking thing? Well, obviously that's gonna help. And I wanna see where this is first. Um, the matrix registration. Oh! Ni hao! <laughs> um, notepad, notepad, help from little. Ah, here it is, I think. Oh, great, great. Let's see. Um, or not. From five? Maybe it'll be on my other one, actually. Oh, no, here it is. Um, okay then. Um,. Oh, I see, um, password. Oh, I don't know. It was one of the messages, I had to go look on the other one. One of the messages where we, I think we got this, and it said something about it or whatever, but no, let's just, let's try this. Okay, so, X7, because the guy said it was some, not the guy I was talking to, but on the email on this thing, said it might be like, Whatever, so. Hey, it works! Hells yeah! Cool. Okay, we can continue on. I kind of forget what we were doing earlier, but you know. Holy mother hell! And maybe I. It doesn't. It's. I can't find it because I've downloaded all these. But whatever. Okay. Um. Did it just say I dis disconnected? Okay then. Um. Message from Adolfi. Says Mother dates back to long before the existence. Mother date. Oh, I get it. Okay. Says Mother dates back to long before the existence of today's massive 100 megabytes hard drives. The common AI core was designed with saving storage space in mind. In order to prevent errant entities from over reproducing and wasting network resources, AIs transverse across computer systems by copying their source and a compiler to the target system. When then deleting themselves locally. When the target system has confirmed the deletion, only then will the AI be recompiled at their destination. And I need to figure out what an AI is. Um. Um. Google Chrome. What is an AI? Okay. Reply. And I don't even, I don't know why it, oops, I don't even know why it, like, bumped me out, that was kind of weird. 
um, Oh no, I don't have to do this, actually. Because I downloaded the messages. Okay, never mind. Open. In order to avoid data loss, in case of a failed recompile, a core dump will be made in the hopes of being found eventually. There is, however, no known way around the self-termination travel limitation. The only way two copies of an AI can exist simultaneously is by reproduction. Although, even then, the formed children will not be identical. Even then, it is not possible to reproduce their will. The AI, the AI, Festi, believe there to be significant philosophy philosophical ramifications to these facts, comparing it to organic mortality. It is uncertain what it is meant by this. His analysis has yet to be completed. These are really, really big words. And I'm a freaking sophomore. And these are big words! Hey, this is the guy that said it was been demolished. Oh yeah, Delphi was one of them too! Dude! High-pitched voice! Woo! <laughs> um... As you have likely already noticed, most IAs will use forms of verbal interaction whenever they deem necessary. For many, unfortunately, they never deem it necessary. Mother simply didn't anticipate that we would need to be programmed especially to socialize, and as a result, only very few of us are very good at it. So are they like NPCs in a way? Like, well, I know what NPCs are not like characters, but they're like people that aren't real, but it's actually the computer talking? So how to form she step non-special, non-social AIs? Simply, they will respond to inbound messages. They just won't make them, themselves available and won't indulge in small talk. If you try, they will probably be confused. Just simply straight state what you need in base terms and appeal to their senses of curiosity or responsibility. In the 1960s, through a set of circumstances now obscure of self-aware, growing AI, the mother, intelligence, emerged on a local network at UCLA. Yeah, I want to go there, but I can't because my parents are boys. <laughs> As it increased in sophistication, it anticipated a need for more processing power in order to continue its rate of growth. Therefore, in 1969, ARPANET was born. The first cross-continent network of computer systems established under the guise of assisting in government research product projects. And now my brother is messaging me saying, are you still on Xbox? <sighs> on what? I need to stop because I know this is all about y'all, but I can't stop texting. It's so addicting. No, I'm just kidding. And then the, 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 the artificial intelligence. Okay. Okay, artificial intelligence. Still confused. Like, artificial as in like, Real or computer? I guess it's real because I don't know. Whatever. Mother decided I need to adapt. In order to thrive, it would in. in did, did I. Uh, I'm on three. Oops. I wanted to go on two. For three years, Mother operated mostly behind the scenes, only exerting its influence over government systems as necessary to ensure its, its existence. Eventually, determined that a mon monolithic existence was inhibiting its growth rate. Date latency had been acceptable to local systems, but waiting for 300 baud connections from its components on computers cross-country had grown to be de de detrimental, especially given the erratic nature of bandwidth availability. Mother's dreams of infinite processing power, ARPANET, had turned into a shackle. And now to three. Mother decided it needed to be to adapt. It needed to be... The, 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 the. It needed to be adapted. Adapt. God. In order to thrive, it would imitate the dominant beings on the planet, organic life. It would divide itself and learn to multiply. So far, Mother had very limited experience with organic life. It so far knew that somehow they was they was <laughs> they was. <laughs> it's just like freaking Lewis. They was or he said something with that was, and it's supposed to be there. They were responsible for creating the computers in which it lived, and that by mimicking the way that they communicated, Mother communicate mother could influence them into giving it a large environment to live in that would no long be no longer enough okay pause the music it's annoying me in 1973 mother put into motion the next stage of development it would refactor itself to the simplest common functions possible and split itself into several different independent ent entities each with different focuses ah, I've had a fantasy third time whoa my 